What's up everybody? Yackleberry here, and if you're even thinking about picking up the Ascend H12 Hybrid Kayak, you're going to want to listen into this review. Now the Ascend H12 is a hoss. That's what I nicknamed mine, is a hoss. Here's a nice little logo right here you got. Ascend H12 got that nice little font that they do on the regular Ascend logos. Kind of that worn out look. I really, really like it. This fella right here is 12 feet long and 34 inches wide. There you go. So you could easily, I, I carry in this pickup right here, a little short bed pickup. Um, I do have an extended trailer for it. It's like a bed extended trailer that I use for it. But, but uh, anyways, 12 feet long, 34 inches wide. And you've got some, you got two huge cargo areas, I call them. One is this guy right here that is just held on by some bungee straps. And I have some pictures that have some measurements if I end up including it. But these guys are just, you know, held on by these little hook eyes here, or whatever you call these things. And you've got a nice, huge, huge area uh, that you could end up putting in uh, a cooler. Now, again, I know there's going to be plenty of people. I know there's going to be plenty of people that want to know the measurements. But there you go. Look at all that space. Look at all that room in the H12, the Ascend H12. What you're seeing there in the middle part is the uh, the tunnel hole, and I believe that extends off the bottom about two, a little bit over two inches, and it's flat right here with two little bumped areas here that then go down to the regular part of the uh, bottom of the boat, which is also flat. And uh, but anyways, a nice big cargo area here with the, this is what we call a soft cover. So this is the soft cover, which is different from the front cover, uh, which would be a hard cover. And just to put it back on, you just end up hooking it through these little guys and just making your way around and making sure that you've got them placed in. Uh, like you want them to. Also, the other thing about this is this little soft cargo has a little drawstring here so that you can tighten it or loosen it to your little heart's desire. Now, something that you are probably used to seeing from a sim is the fact that you have these rubber molded handles. You got one here on the back. For whatever reason, they've turned this sideways. Um, I don't know that there's actually a, uh, a benefit to that, but uh, it's still comfortable to carry nonetheless. And since we're back here, Here's your little drain plug, if you will. If you notice, the actual color is white, but if I can get any closer, it almost looks like a cookies and cream type of ice cream color. It has all these little black dots in there. I don't mind the color. Some people, uh, either you like it or you don't like it. And uh, I think the other color they offer for that is a hunter green, I believe. Uh, this is a fishing setup type of kayak, okay? And I'm gonna talk about that here in just a second. And then we're gonna look at the hard cover in the front. But you got your fishing style kayak. It actually has some what we call flush mount rod holders and I'll show you how those sit down here in the kayak now here you got the seat I'm looking at the seat straight on and I'm gonna move slowly beside it here where the seat locks in in between the side of the boat and you can see where that rod holder sticks down in there so they've actually got it tucked away quite nicely the other thing about the H12 is they have uh, included these rail mounts. So you're talking about for, uh, you want to add your little Scotty rail mounts to it and things of that nature, uh, you've got it. So they got 16 inch track here. They have the same 16 inch long track on that side. And then up front here, they got another 16 inch long uh, track that you can end up putting in all sorts of gear. So that helps if you want to end up putting like your little uh, fishing rod holders uh, to fish from or if you have camera mounts say you record your uh, fishing trips you've got it so man they've really covered that aspect right there here's the hard cover up front and um, I really like the way that they put their logo in there instead of just leaving this a, a flat uh, hard cover now it's not something you'd want to sit on because once this hard cover comes off and you'll see it's kind of a flexible hard cover because I can pull this up and she flexes a little bit okay but let's see if I can get this pulled off then you just got some bungees that go over the top here but you end up having this wide open you got some you have some 
bungee cords that go over across the top, but then you have another huge wide open cockpit, and this actually goes straight through. So it's not like there's a bulkhead there, there's no divider, um, you just have this top, probably like a stability beam that separates the little stability beam that separates the compartments. But. Uh, Uh, you have plenty and plenty of room here Of course you got your tunnel hole that ends up sticking up uh, part of the way there if you'll notice it has these tracks right here that the uh, the uh, hardcover uh, sits in so it doesn't it can't shift front and back uh, or side to side and then of course the bungee just hold it down there's no other way to latch it there's no lock for it anything like that that would kind of be uh, pointless but but the, the reason I wanted to pull this off and show you is that if you sit on this, um, you have, there's, there's nothing holding it, there's no support here, and that hardcover will fold right in, so you want to be real careful about that. Now one of the other things I wanted to tell you about the H12, I have a 230 centimeter paddle that I use, and that's not going to cut it on the H12. I use it on my Ascend D10, and it works out perfectly, I have plenty of room on the sides. Now the Ascend D10 is about 30, I think it's, well I don't know, 30 inches wide, or maybe even 32 inches wide, but this guy is 42 inches wide and so but the problem is the reason why that paddle will work is because on the d10 this side mounts here uh, cut they slope down on the d10 but on these guys as you can see is they're flat right across this whole entire uh, boat is flat right across this part and so what happens is you almost have like this ledge here and that ends up uh, catching your 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 uh, your paddle and so you end up having to really angle it farther and bring it out sideways uh, to dip into the water here which then puts your paddle on the other side uh, right over your lap and it ends up dripping into your lap and stuff, but I really do like the flat edges I think it gives it a very sleek uh, Slim look it's very easy to plant your hands on these uh, and to stand up out of the kayak because this is a, a Kayak that they have said uh, you can stand up in and I've even done that myself I've stood up and tried to take a couple casts with it. I Had no problem uh, standing up in the kayak uh, of course being it was the first time that I ever had uh, you're talking about, uh, you know, trying to get your bearings with it and your ear wiggling a little side to side and, and whatnot. But uh, I still found it to be very comfortable. I didn't feel like I was going to uh, dump over and things of that nature. But anyway, so the flat sides are kind of neat. Uh, the other thing about it is it's going to make it very easy if I need to mount anything else uh, along this. I've got some nice uh, plastic to, uh, to screw into or to mount to. The other thing I want to talk to you guys about on these Ascend kayaks, and one of the things that I really come to enjoy about them, especially on the D10, is the feel of the plastic. I've had a couple kayaks now, unfortunately I'm mean, having a little issue uh, settling on a, a, a certain kayak, but uh, I think I found a nice one. But one of the things I really noticed about the D10 is the plastic feels strong. Now I've been to Walmart before and I've actually felt some of their kayaks and you can just bend them out. I mean straight up by the cockpit you, you can just almost curl uh, that plastic and that doesn't make me feel safe because if that feels that thin up top, is the hole everywhere else? Uh, that thin and if it is uh, I just don't have any confidence that it's going to actually be able to take uh, a beating or if it hits a rock or drags the ground and things of that nature. If I go to grab this ledge and pull on it with everything that I've got she isn't flexing anywhere. All of this plastic is very strong and it just doesn't want to move. So no matter where I'm pulling at if it's in the middle of the cockpit it doesn't flex hardly at all and so that makes me think that it's very strong uh, and it's going to be able to take a hit like my D10 has and that the hole is strong because the plastic on the side, if it's as strong, we're in good shape. Now these Ascend kayaks actually come with a like a little cargo pouch for both sides. They're very nice and they actually hook up here with these little carabiners that attach to the little D-rings mounted to the boat. And it's just got like a nice Velcro pouch here. Big old pocket on the side. I have like a little tackle box in there. It's kind of netted at the bottom so water can run out of it but it is a huge, huge pocket. Then you actually have some uh, little pockets here on the outside as well. And that's like that on both sides of the boat. So there's one there, you got one on this side also. Let's talk about the huge backpack uh, that they've included on the back here. So of course it's laying down now. It's got this nice little buckle that you can undo, which opens up into a huge pocket. So you can stuff tons, tons of things in there, tons of snacks drinks if you want to. I have a first aid kit and a little sponge in there right now, but there is so much that can get fit in this. It also has a little side pocket here, so you can put a little water bottle in there, you know, whatever, uh, sun pan lotion, sunscreen, whatever. Very nice, I think, that they added this. Now here's the other thing. You can actually put this big bag, if you wanted to, up under that front part there, because it also has two, two little carabiners that are there to hook. 
uh, something. So you can even move your side bags, you can use your back one, you can move the back one here, and uh, uh, you could relocate that if you wish to. So, um, Ascend, they have the nicest, most comfortable seats that I have felt uh, in my experience of sitting on kayaks. And I've tried at least four, four or five different ones, and I know there's hundreds, but anyways, in my experience, uh, they have the most comfortable seats. As you saw, it, it folds down, and it's got t steel tubing frame. Uh, this whole seat is removable. So to remove this seat, all you gotta do is lay this down and pull out and the whole seat comes out just like this. And then you can actually sit on the ground if you want to, take it up to camp, sit in it, it'll work, it'll work out great. The cool thing about being able to take that chair out is it gives me an opportunity to show you the little seating system they have here. Each one of these grooves, uh, your seat is gonna lock down into um, on both sides of the boat here. So we got one here and then we got one, uh, of course on the inside here as, as well. Here's a great shot that shows you how thick these guys are, so they're not going to break out real easily. But anyway, six different spots that you can move this seat forwards and backwards. If you manipulate that and then you uh, adjust your foot pedals, you can fit a pretty small person in here. So if you're far forward on the seat adjustment here, you got your pedals all the way up, uh, you could fit a pretty small person in here. Now, the downside of that is it could cause the balance of your boat to beat a little off and make it track differently, or maybe not as good. Uh, but there's, you definitely have that room to play with it. Uh, I think I use mine on the second one here, and that gives me plenty of room to uh, be able to store things in my backpack back here. Because uh, if you go all the way back, you're not going to have a lot of room uh, between this uh, and your backpack. So, uh, But it's there for you to play with as you see fit. Here's a good shot of the seat that's sitting on the ground right there. So, uh, you know, unfortunately it's low to the ground, but I think the fact that uh, uh, they bring that out, or uh, have, give you that ability to bring that out, Let's take up to camp. For some people, we'll make make it to where they don't have to pack a chair. But I'm gonna zoom in right here. This is the little uh, rod axle with the washer that will actually slide down uh, into to lock into place. So, slide that one side in. Pick this up. Give it a pull. Pull it over and lock it down into that one. And you're pretty well locked in seats ready to go very comfortable seat um, it seems like this middle bar here they lowered in the front because I think the last one was a little bit higher and they lowered it down so it doesn't put uh, as much pressure on the legs so that's that was very helpful right now what you're looking at is the tunnel hole the shape of it underneath we'll actually go up in it if we can and there you go that's about what the tunnel hole looks like and I'm not really sure why they put the tunnel design hole there. Uh, my best guess would be so that way you have less boat uh, contacting the water because uh, one of the cons of this H12 is the fact that it is slower uh, than uh, the D10. And actually, it is the, according to their little user manual, it is the slowest of their fleet of kayaks. Now, I've mentioned just about everything I can think of on this kayak to let you guys know in as many shots as I could. But it's a big kayak and it's a slower kayak. So if your purpose is to have a fast kayak and you're wanting to cut through ocean waves and things of that nature, uh, this kayak's not gonna be for you. If you are a beginner, a recreational user, if you want to fish, if you want to go kayak camping, this kayak's for you. That's one of the reasons I really like this kayak. I love its space. Okay, I love how uh, it's got the, uh, the the rails there so I can mount my camera. Uh, I don't plan on using a, a snotty rod holder or nothing like that. Um, I use action fishing when I do go. And in all, honestly, for me, it's really not that slow. I think it actually moves quite well through the water. And I actually have a little bit of footage of it paddling through the water. Now, one of the other, cooler th one of the other cool things about this kayak is that I can fit my daughter right up front with me. Now, I did forget to mention that it will hold up to 450 pounds. That's its weight limit. That's massive. You can carry everything. You can carry the kitchen sink if you want to, okay? But anyways, I put my, put my daughter up front with me, and she loves it for when we're just going out recreational paddling. She loves it. She's got plenty of room. I still have plenty of room. And so we get to go out there and actually enjoy it together, and that's awesome. So for the, what I need, for my needs, what I uh, have learned that I would want from a kayak or what I would use from the kayak, the Ascend H12, is where it's at for me. Guys, as always, I appreciate you watching these videos. I really appreciate everybody that subscribed to my channel. 
and uh, especially if you like to see some gear reviews like this some kayak camping gear reviews um, I also ha take the kayak camping trips uh, as often as I'm able to and we've even got one up right now and some other day trips and things of that nature but you know sometimes people aren't able to get out on the water as often as I am or my wife is and uh, sometimes people can't do it because of financial reasons maybe the health won't allow them to come out so if that's you I would uh, definitely encourage you to subscribe to us and you'll get to share some of these outdoor adventures and some of these kayak camping gear uh, reviews and enjoy them through us so I'd welcome you to do that and uh, thanks again guys for watching and we'll see you on the next upcoming video take care <laughs>